the rumor is that Ariana Grande is a homewrecker. She uh, recently separated from See, her... women, you just can't trust them. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. She recently separated from her now ex-husband, Dalton Gomez, and she is reportedly in a new relationship with her co-star on Wicked. His name is Ethan Slater, and he is just the dorkiest, dweebiest male feminist you ever lays, laid eyes on. Um... It, uh, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This put is it, like just, people said that she was out of Pete Davidson's league. This is a whole other level. I'm gonna <laughs> put it on screen, guys. If if this guy can land uh, Ariana Grande, then just shoot your shot shoot at your whoever shot at whoever you're you're thinking about. If that's the guy on the right, you know. Yeah. So this, he kind of looks like wait, that's Mark. Her, that's her boyfriend or whatever. The, yes, that's, that's her now boyfriend with his now uh, ex wife. Ex -wife. Oh. This tweet okay. says, I'd vomit nonstop if I were the wife. This is Ariana Grande's new man, Ethan Slater. He just had his kid last year with his wife that he'd been together with for 10 years. They met in high school. They're literal high school sweethearts. That's sad. Yeah, it is sad. And Ariana Grande is known for never being able to be single. She's been single for maybe two months consecutively in her entire career and has a song titled, Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. She is notorious <laughs> for getting for, for cheating, for being That's a serial a cheater, title. and being with serial cheaters. Look, I'm no prize, but I got something on this guy. I think I could slide into her DMs. Yeah, try it. Try Go it. For She's it. clearly up for grabs. Go for it. Um, but there are conflicting reports, so I'm assuming that this anonymous source to TMZ that said um, Dalton Gomez is already dating someone new since their separation might have been Scooter Braun. Um, this, this Redditor said, I had a feeling something was going to come out when Scooter went to TMZ to give a whole explanation on her breakup with Dalton and essentially blame him for not being able to handle her fame and specifically mentioned he was already dating again. It was very calculated and one-sided. And that was the narrative. Uh, it's just like BB Rexa posting that screenshot from her That's ex boyfriend That's the next thing. Now all the women are just posting their it's men's that, private messages. You know, he, he just couldn't handle your success he felt threatened by your success that's why he left you that's an easier they love to story that out, to, they? to stomach yeah. than that you know he's just not in, that into you right right um in the chat eugene says ariana grande sounds like something you get at a starbucks there was a an ariana grande starbucks drink yes the cloud drink um but yeah, all of these fans of hers were saying Dalton Gomez is a misogynist because he, he got with her when they were in the middle of COVID and she wasn't working, but when she went back to her normal schedule and had to be traveling the world and doing the things that a pop star does, he was dissatisfied because he felt like he was deserving of more of her time. She's only got 377 million subscribers. I'm about to shoot my shot right do now. It. Do it. <laughs> well, I agree with the person who said that you're better looking than you're giving yourself credit for. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's a, I feel, I feel like these are the types of situations. This is very Hollywood. This is very Hollywood to see these people, you know, they get, they work for long periods of time. You know, rock stars talk about, it. you know, the road is very different than your home life, almost like a dream. And uh, I for... just, I, I'm, I'm smelling something me too adjacent here because um, I think now even Hollywood women are being emboldened to, you know, expose their exes mm, oh, for yeah. supposed emotional abuse or right. misogyny or whatever you want to, wh whatever Hill. buzzword yeah. you want to call it. Um, when nothing of the sort has happened, she liked a post on Instagram that said, never again will I be in a relationship with someone I fear. And this is just uh, very backhanded because she's aware that people are keeping track of her social mm -hmm. media. It's all, yeah, intentional. And they're gonna see that she liked this post. They're gonna level accusations at her now ex-husband. It's it's all very weird to me. Um, mm -hmm. And no matter what she reveals or doesn't reveal about the end of their relationship, her fans are going to assume the worst of him and demonize him. Yeah. Now that it's real dangerous to get into any type of relationship with somebody with a very large platform now because they will always be able to turn the public yeah. or even without favor. one. If you could, yeah. if, like we see like Jonah Hill, uh, his his ex, Sarah Brady, and she, and I know she's a, a semi-famous surfer, I guess, but uh but you really don't even have to be famous anymore. And you were talking about how there seems to now be this trend with people exposing in Hollywood, exposing exes, not for abuse, but uh, just for being, you know, bad boyfriend or controlling boyfriend or what have you. And I, that's where I come down on the Jonah Hill thing, for instance, is that I don't understand 
why it is our business if he's if he was a little too controlling or if he wasn't or whatever we just get these decontextualized texts they're completely out of context we don't know what it's responding to or anything and then we're supposed to we're supposed to shame this person and what cancel them yeah yeah um and the reason i'm calling her a home wrecker is because <laughs> uh she is not divorced from dalton gomez they are merely separated oh, really? neither of them have even filed for divorce yet her and Ethan Slater, neither of them have filed for divorce. And I suspect that possibly one or both of them were cheating on their spouse at the time that they began dating. No, no. And it's not Very abnormal unthinkable. for Hollywood. It's not even abnormal outside of Hollywood. Okay. Um, but it's just pathetic that like her personal life decisions are going to be celebrated no matter what she does. Yeah. Because her fan base is just a bunch of brainwashed but stands. This is why you don't get married, um, guys. Uh, if you're Kevin Costner right now, oh man, and you have just been leveled with one hundred and twenty nine thousand dollar a month payments in child support because she must have needed an extra bit of cheese on her Whopper when she gets her kids the value meal at Burger King. <laughs> she wanted two hundred and fifty something thousand dollars a month, and that's bad enough, right? She says, "I want you to quit Yellowstone." He's like, uh, "I." Have to keep working because you need to make I, I need to make you the money she's like i want you home so she leaves the guy uh and beyond that uh, imagine that it's all bad enough you're kind of down in the dumps you're kevin costner your shows you're going off the air um and then your ex or, or soon to be ex-wife goes on vacation at the beach with a family friend that was both of your so she's taken the kids on this vacation with the new guy i don't know if the kids are there uh, it, i saw in this one of headline yes. it says she's in hawaii on a vacation with her Giselle. kids with after the 129k yep. child support hit her bank account and then yep. she's spotted vacationing with her, uh, her josh husband's connor. friend josh connor who is a wealthy financier she's like i'm gonna get even more child support from this guy it's so disgusting to, it's to like, introduce your kids to this new person well no they already knew him because he was a family friend they well, already it's they, yeah it's worse okay. that they knew the guy as a family friend and now they're on vacation with him like he's some kind of and from replacement what, for their father and what vanessa from what vanessa told me before the show apparently he would come over to the house a lot when he uh, was on location working so make of that what you will um i'm just saying i would never want to be uh famous it reminds me of phil ever. collins do you know what happened yeah. to phil collins mm -hmm. so he uh you know famous genesis guy yeah. right he sold his music library for like 300 oh, million yeah, no, he's, he's an amazing year. musician yeah. but uh he uh he had a second wife or maybe it was a third wife and she was considerably uh younger and she rode that train for a while and then she decided that when he became an old man she wanted to find herself a young hot one so she left him for an escort but get this get this they the, she moved the escort into phil's miami mansion his his big florida mansion and phil had to evict them because she would not leave the that, house with the escort that was what was happening here basically like he had to get her out of the house and uh it's like <laughs> dude it's crazy yeah. i would never want to have that much money that many assets tied up and you know like she's gonna get all the sympathy she's yeah. gonna get all the sympathy yeah. she can go on vacation with a family friend and still get all the sympathy because he, he was working too much and not paying enough attention to her it's very hard to be the the, the he's working wife too of much on yellowstone person. he There's leaves yellowstone and that's like that still position. not enough thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys